I'm Jamie, and I'm an engineer at Dagster Labs. I'm going to talk about branch deployments in Dagster Plus and how they can enable teams to move faster, improve quality, and increase autonomy. Branch deployments have been a core feature of our commercial product since its launch two years ago. They are lightweight staging environments created with every pull request and reduce the friction of testing, reviewing, and collaborating on your data pipelines. Let's take a look at how these work. Most users have a main branch that contains their code and a production deployment where that code is deployed. Branch deployments follow a workflow that should feel familiar. You create a branch, make your changes, and create a pull request. Then Daxter takes over and creates a lightweight deployment where you can run and test the code in your pull request. These deployments can be configured so that they interact with staging resources, which allows you to materialize your assets without affecting production data. With the launch of Dagster Plus, we are releasing a new feature in branch deployments, change tracking. Change tracking makes it easy to see exactly what assets have changed in your branch and launch materializations of those assets. When a branch deployment is created, it is compared to the main production deployment, and assets that have been changed in the branch are marked in the UI. You can filter down to just these assets so that you can quickly see what has changed and launch materializations to test those assets. This also makes branch deployments a great tool for collaboration and code review. Rather than sifting through lines of code to determine which assets will be affected by a particular pull request, you can use the UI to quickly see the scope of code changes. Here, we have a PR where we've modified some DBT models. We've also updated the start date of one of our partitions, but we aren't sure exactly how many assets this change is going to affect. Let's take a look at the branch deployment. Here we can see that the DBT models we've modified in our branch have been marked in the UI. We can see how these assets have changed, and we can filter the graph down to just the modified assets. In the global asset graph, we can also apply filters to see the assets that are pull request changes. For example, we can apply a filter to show only the assets that are modified by the partition change we made in our branch. This lets us see exactly which assets will be affected by that code change. Finally, while we have primarily shown this feature for assets made from DBT models, change tracking can be used with any kind of asset. Branch deployments are a unique feature to Dagster Plus that brings a truly modern developer experience to data engineering and enables teams to move faster, improve quality, and increase autonomy. We continue to hear how much value they add to the day-to-day -day process of building and testing data pipelines. We have lots of ideas on how to make branch deployments even more powerful, so you can expect to see further enhancements in the coming months.